The body of 12-year-old Tony Bryant was found late this afternoon in the woods behind Canyon Crescent Elementary. Police are saying nothing so far about cause of death. An autopsy is scheduled for later this week. His mother, Heather Bryant, has this to say about today's shocking discovery. Did you sleep in your amware last night? Yes. Honey, we'll understand if you want to stay home from school today. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. What are you singing in choir these days? La, 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 la. I know you know not to talk to strangers. And I know you know if a stranger asks you to get in his car, you say no. And if he has candy, same thing. I know you know all this, but I gotta say it. Just like I did when Wendy Chung went missing last fall and Tammy Stone a few years back. And Lisa McKay, who God thankfully returned to us. Hi, Lisa. I've said it before, and I will say it again. You should keep your pencils nice and sharp. You have got to... Yes, Aaron. Can I have an excuse to go to the bathroom? Aaron, you know you can come to us whenever you need. Not even my real father. Aaron. This isn't normal, Gwen. He isn't normal. No, he is. It's, it's He's peeing really in his normal. desk. you some questions and I want you to do your best to try and answer them as honestly as you can okay okay what do you miss most about Tony he was my best friend we used to do everything together we both loved to sing he was a soloist in the school choir his family took me to Disneyland in grade four and after grade five he came with my family to Disney World 
That's in Orlando. Yeah, we used to have a lot of sleepovers. Mainly at my house because I have bunk beds, he had a trundle. We used to always fight for the top bunk and I would always get stuck with the bottom. There was this one time that Tony slept over. He woke me up in the morning and showed me through the crack of my parents' door. My stepdad was naked and he was doing sit-ups. Tony thought this was funny. Did you think it was funny? I guess so. I don't think Dr. Key the problem was, I couldn't stop picturing Harry without his clothes. I told Tony this and he said I was weird. I didn't want to see Harry naked, but I couldn't help it. And then one day, I just stopped picturing him this way. All done. That was around the time we had the substitute teacher. It wasn't like the other teachers. He let us call him Mike. Excuse me while I go have a word with your mother. How did it go? Well, it seems your son is suffering from what we call an identity crisis. You're not going to put him on drugs, are you? No, please don't worry. Oh, thank God. First, we'll try hypnosis. I can hear you. It looks like we have our new soloist. Tony would be proud. Do you know the lyrics? Yeah. I'm looking in the cupboard below the sink. What are you looking for? Tony. Now what do you see? I'm in the garage. I can't find him anywhere. Yeah, I'm with Hawes and Mercy right now, I think. Tell me what you see. The armoire. What about the armoire? Tony's not in there. What did you remember, Aaron? Nothing.
Close your eyes, rest your head. You are falling deeper. Watch the shore getting small as we both sail away. Feel the breeze on your face as we're getting farther. Hear the waves as they crash. Your turn. And we both sail Who's your dare? There. Dare you to stick your fork in that out rock? Dream. 